get the 2023 Clownfish comic books, including Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. We're offering a limited number of these books in our second chance offer. Go to shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Kevin Smith, I thought we had something special. I thought we were special. I thought when you talked to us, when you came down from on high, that we actually had a little something going on there. But apparently, you answer just any rando on Twitter. No, there's a reason he called it that way. But here's the thing, though. He, he's so ass bad. One person says something, and he does as usual, and he just flips the hell out. It's an awful strong reaction, like what happened with us, for some, for something that's not true. You hit awfully close to the mark to get him riled up like that, maybe. Maybe. Uh, so we're going to talk about this. Got to give a hat tip to Bounding in the Comics that compiled these tweets, apparently. And thank God nobody tagged us in on it, because I did not want to be dragged into that situation. Or just dragging ourselves in. We were just yeah, we're just dragging ourselves in. Apparently, somebody literally named Rando58 or Rando53 uh, said to Kevin Smith that uh, they thought that the live action Masters of the Universe movie was canceled at Netflix because Revelation was such a bomb. I I'm not gonna lie, it wouldn't surprise me if that played into it somewhat, a little bit, because I don't think, when we were looking at the top streaming, it was never showing up really in the top. No. That being said, uh, they already greenlit this a while ago. Uh, they might not greenlit more, greenlit more after this, but yeah, I, I don't think that they're necessarily related, because they could have they shipped this one around, even if it was done, they could have shipped the second season out to other places. Yeah, it's true. Didn't. They could have. They, they could have shopped it around. They didn't. Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about this because this is kind of interesting. Like like uh, Geeky was saying, it's not the fact that he answered or it is or isn't true. It's the fact that why bother why bother responding at all? Yeah, he just can't stand it. It's just like this guy is such a thin skinned little weenie. He cannot stand it. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you woo do. Um, yeah, so look, we've made our thoughts known about Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, nice art, not impressed with the storyline. The toys are okay. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we think that they did He-Man dirty. We think they did Tila dirty. I think that they, they, bit, they, they he bit himself in the ass because he went after us initially over a, a off-handed tweet from something we heard. Which yeah, turned out yeah. to be true. And the fact that he reacted so strongly to it is what made people think, okay, this must be true. And then it did turn out to be true. He looked like a dumbass for lying. Well, now this person makes this offhanded comment, and he's going after them. Which, dude, have you learned nothing? Which makes you worry about season two because that means he has learned nothing. Yeah, I think it, it's going to be what it's going to be. And again, look, I can't fault Powerhouse. They do amazing work. They do. They're mean, the, the animation was good. The character, except for Tila, uh, the character designs were good. The figures are good. Um, the I'm show. Sorry, Sarah Michelle Geller cannot act, voice act away at paper bag. Well, she's not going to be in the second season. Oh, they replaced there you her. go. They replaced her with Supergirl, I guess. But um, which makes more she's sense. She's married to the guy that plays He Man. He -Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, audiences did not like it very much. The the ten reviews they got or whatever, people were like, "It's the best He Man ever." Finally, He Man's for us. Um, a lot of people uh, dunked on the show, right? So. Kevin Smith started talking about the Variety article, which we covered yesterday, that they are canceling the Netflix movie. However, and he is correct in this, uh, Mattel is going to shop it around elsewhere. I now. agree. And, and we've said yesterday, they're probably waiting to see how Barbie does. They're going to yes. use some person yes. leverage. Yes. Um, and that's probably, that's probably what they're trying to do, which we said yesterday. So he said, uh, it says in Variety that the movie was too pricey for Netflix, says Kevin Smith. I'm sure some other studio will snatch it up. Meanwhile, Re uh, Revolution, which is the sequel Revelation, the Revolution animated series is almost complete. Bear McCreary is scoring episode three now. We just mixed the first episode last week. And again, I think these are probably, the second season was probably a package deal with the first season way back when. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, that's, yeah, that's usually how these things are done. And when you're dealing with animation, a lot of times they have to start, because they, they get an episode order and they have to start in the second season before, that's like Velma. Like, mm -hmm. they already started writing the second season before they knew how the first one was going to do. Yeah, it was already going to happen. You know, it doesn't matter what the backlash was like. There it might was not like, be a third. Right, right. Uh, so, random. The random 58. Got to come down from on high to... <laughs> so, to so, harass a random person. Yes. Uh, yes, he There's has to come... There's a reason we worded it that way. Has to come down from on high to, to school a guy named random 58. 
Come on, bruh, let's be real. They're not willing to pay the money because your show failed so spectacularly that it killed any excitement for it. It's too pricey because they believe it'll flop. Honestly, it's shameful how you did He-Man. I still like your Green Arrow run, though. Well, I think he's right in the fact that it's too pricey and they'll think it's going to flop. I, I 100% agree with him on that part. Yeah, so Netflix, I mean, they've been cutting back. They've been cut, they, they canceled Cowboy Bebop like two episodes in or two weeks into the... I forgot they dumped everything at once, but... Like they are cutting back massively and a live action Masters of the Universe is going to cost a hell of a lot of money and they're not going to get a return. And on historically it. speaking on these kind of things, the, the animated version is going to fly better than the live action version yeah. for this kind of property. That being said, I don't I do think that it did terrible on Netflix. I don't think it did that well. The first the first one didn't do that well. And I might be it, it honestly might be playing into it. Do I think that's the main reason for it? I think it's more because they don't want they know they'll lose money on it. They already spent a bunch of money and it's gone nowhere. It's gotten stalled out a couple times. Yeah. And they lost their star before. I think it's more that this is sitting in limbo and it wasn't worth the aggravation. And, and now they might have some leveraging power to move it elsewhere. But it's possible. It is possible that his show made Netflix leery, but they would have stopped it two years ago if that was the case. Was it two years ago? Was it yeah, it's been, year? like two, it's been like two, two years, years ago. Two years ago, whatever the hell it came out. Yeah. They would have stopped it then. Yeah, so I mean. I think, it, you know. I, I, I'm sure they're, because we're dealing with Mattel, so I'm sure they're a contract. Now, the thing is, is it's not just that movie. Mattel or somebody, Netflix, somebody pulled the plug on the CGI series too. You That's know? true. So it just in general, just my my personal feeling as somebody who watches toys and we deal in toys and all that stuff. It seems to me like Mattel is rethinking the whole Masters of the Universe strategy because the toy line seems like it's winding down. They canceled the CGI show. They thought that was going to be a hit with kids. It wasn't. I liked it. it. It didn't do very well. They canceled it. They probably had an, a, a contractual obligation to finish this. Now they're going to be like, with Smith. I'm thinking yep. yes. So now they're going to be like, okay, fine. And I, I do think a lot of it hinges on Barbie. I think they're going to look at Barbie and be like, you know, Barbie does really well. We can go to these other studios and be like, hey, we got He Man. Mm -hmm. You want to make fun of He Man too? We can do that. We'll make it like the anti Barbie movie. We'll make it toxic, toxic masculinity. The movie. You know, for current year. Um, that was that was revelation. Sorry. That was that was. Uh, that Kevin Smith says. I read the variety. Well, that Kevin Smith as opposed to the other Kevin Smith. Yes, we have to be, we have to clarify which the Kevin other Smith guy, we're yeah. talking. The other guy. Yeah. I read the Variety article twice, and I wasn't mentioned once. Meanwhile, Master of the Universe Revolution, the sequel series, debuts in a few months. Now, look, this is one thing I've learned about Kevin Smith. Is he a little bitch? Okay. Uh, the other thing I've learned about Kevin Smith is that everything is hype. Like oh, yeah. he will, he will target people on Twitter to use them as an advertisement for whatever shit he's doing. And that's what he's doing here. I would laugh so hard. People actually, you know, did go in and ask him about Clownfish TV. Oh my God. <laughs> so, I tried when he did his live stream uh, and they all looked very depressed. And that was during San Diego. I tried to get into the chat and they would not let me in the chat. That's right. I do. You do remember. I, do remember. I was going to go in and I was going to be, I was going to be cool. I wasn't going to be a dick, but they would not let me in the chat. So I'm like, well, fine. They shut it down after people kept telling them to apologize. To us. Yeah. But, but here he came down from on high to, to say that. And of course you aren't mentioned in that article, but we weren't mentioned in things either. It didn't stop him from harassing us. But anyway. Called us liars. And it turned out we were right. Anyway. Um, random, random says, I'm aware you weren't mentioned, but read between the lines. The only reason that Netflix isn't making it is because they don't think they can make the money back. I agree with that. That is probably true. Why don't they think they can make it back? Could it be because a show of the same IP on their very own platform flopped? It's possible. It is possible. So by your logic, Kevin Smith says, I guess Netflix figures they can make their money back on a second season of our animated I series. I think it was greenlit before. Since they greenlit and paid for Revolution. Um, uh, I think it was a deal. I think it was greenlit before to get on both. I yes, really truly do. Yes, they they would have. Maybe it, I'm reading between the lines here, Kevin. But I think they said, "Hey, we're going to do 20 episodes or whatever the episode order was." Mm -hmm. And that's the same with Shira. People are like, "Look, Shira got five seasons, and old school Shira only got two. I'm like, "No, Shira got whatever." Uh, they were like, "This one had 50 seven episodes, episodes or something." This or, one, yeah, the original one had like. Yeah, like 90 some episodes or something. Yeah, it was it was a 65 was like, episode order and then like another 30 after yeah, that. Yeah, and this yeah. one got like, you know, we got 5 here, 10 here, 8 here. That's that's a season. No, that's not a season. That's bitch. a Netflix season. There's a big difference between uh, a season and a Netflix season. There's a little bit 
of the difference between the tip and the whole thing. What is with you and tips today? We're talking about Skeletor. He has You're to power so down. Putting it. tips into things, anyway. So look, this thing was already greenlit. They had, uh, you know, the, the contract was already done. It was a done deal. It was a done deal before they aired the first episode of the first show. I can almost guarantee it. Now Kevin will probably come down from on high and school us. It I'm sure. It looks like a crown, but it looks like a cod piece. Because look how it's curved outward. It's to cover his battle boner. Yeah, so it keeps going. I don't know what the budget for the show is, but considering the number for the movie, it's probably a small fraction of that. Uh, it's so much more likely they make money on that. Yes, it's also likely if this one perform preforms like the other two, or one, whatever you call it, it'll get axed. Both animated series cost millions, but not 200 million. Mm -hmm. The yeah. number, yeah, that's true. That I is true. That, yeah. uh, the number of variety indicated was the Jawbridge... Jawbridge, haha, too far for the movie division. Now we're on the same page. However, if Revolution does anywhere close to Revelation numbers, then we'll definitely get a season oh, okay. three. But here's the answer. Okay, there, right there, there it is. If it does as good, we'll get a season three, which tells me those two are greenlit ahead of time. Yes. And if this one does it, we'll get a season three. What about that writer's strike? Yeah, but I'm just saying <laughs> that, that's what that tells me. It's like, you, you know, I don't think you're going to get a season three. I really doubt it. Yeah. Unless you somehow pull this one out of the hole and fix it because you ruined the first one. Yeah. So bounding in the comics pulled up some of the numbers here. And the problem with Netflix, again, is you can't really tell what the numbers are. You have well, to. I remember I looked too and they weren't showing It up wasn't the tracking. Yeah, it wasn't tracking in the mm -hmm. first week it came out. Uh, it's unclear what kind of viewership uh, Revelation received its first uh, during its first two parts. The series did not chart on Netflix's top mm -hmm. 10 for the week of July 19th and, and through the 25th. Because even She-Ra charted. Yep. So that means it had less than 13.7 million hours viewed in the first week. And I don't think the second part, I don't think anybody watched it. I think people were so pissed off about the first part. Because, I, I mean, just in general, we saw a major lack of interest in He-Man. Like, we're doing He-Man videos leading up to it, right? Mm -hmm. People, they wanted to get involved in the drama and all that. But this, when the second part dropped, people were like, oh, I forgot that existed. Yeah, like, I just wrote He-Man yeah, off for I, dead. I didn't care. Yeah. You know, so it didn't, yeah, and our, compare that to Arcane. Which, you know, hell, did 30 million hours viewed. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't do as well. Now, I don't know what the criteria is. Personally, I don't think there's going to be a season three. I, regardless, I think Mattel is going to rethink the whole damn thing. But, um, yeah, it's just weird that he just can't not respond. Like, I know, he, he just, just can't. He can't stand it. Like, that's, what my, that's my point. He has, keeps coming up to come down to pick on people. And the thing is, when he does that, it means you hit a nerve. So there's got to be some kernel of truth to something that was said for him to get this pissed off. Somebody might have maybe offhandedly at Netflix just said something to him like, yeah, hey, you know, we were hoping that you would bring He-Man back, Kevin, and it didn't happen. So don't fucking. Know. He seems awfully salty. So thanks. Thanks for that. Right? I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know the truth. We will never know the truth. So we're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.